Hello, I'm Carolyn and in this video I'm going to show how you can create lattice designs like these quite easily for your cutter. I'm just going to paste my basic lattice. Now I'm not going through the steps to create this in the video as I've made an earlier video that shows these steps in detail. So to create these designs make your basic lattice first and then follow the next steps. For the first example I'm going to draw an oval, then I'm going to duplicate it. Now one of these ovals I need as a solid fill and one I'm going to take advantage of the stroke. So I can see this one has already got fill and no stroke so I'll leave that one as it is. With the other one I'm going to change it to a stroke. So I'll open the fill and stroke options, I'll turn the fill off turn the stroke on and then I'll go to stroke style and I'm just going to make it thicker. I'm working in millimeters but of course you'll work in the measurement you feel comfortable with. Now on this oval I've thickened the width of the stroke line but it's not going to cut like that. At the moment I can see I've still got a stroke and I'm going to change it to a fill. So I'll go path, stroke to path. I can see on the lower left I've now got a fill. So when it's a fill I know my cutter will actually cut both sides of that black line. So this is going to be my outline. So with your shape that's got a solid fill bring it over to the lattice. I'm just going to use alignment to center it. Zoom in a little bit. For the next step to work this oval needs to be underneath the lattice. So I'll just lower it. And I'm going to select both parts. I'm just going to zoom in. Hopefully this will make sense. The black that I can see here will be my cardstock when it's cut out and the grey squares within the black will actually be the parts that are cut out. So just zoom out. I'm going to select both parts and then apply path difference and bring my border over. I'll just select both of them align them and apply path union. How easy was that to make a lattice design? Better just paste my lattice back and for the next design I'm just going to use a diamond. So I'm going to start by drawing a square. And I'm just going to rotate it 45 degrees and then just stretch it a bit longer. Now I need two one with the stroke and one with the fill. I can see this one has got the stroke so I will duplicate it and this time I'll change it so this one's got a fill. So I'll turn stroke off, turn fill on. Come back to the one with the stroke. The one with stroke I can already see that it's got a border that's going to be thick enough but it's still a stroke so I'll go path, stroke to path so now I've got a fill. Same as before, we'll take the solid one, bring it over to the lattice, place it underneath and just use alignment. And while they're both still selected, go path, difference, select both parts, center them again. While they're still both selected, go path, union. And there's another one designed. I'm just going to do a font because this is slightly different. So let's just make it a little bit bigger. And I better paste my lattice back. Make this bigger still. So I need two, so I'll duplicate it. And see, this one is fill, so that's fine. This one I'm going to change to stroke. So I'll turn fill off, turn stroke on make it a bit thicker, I might just type in 2, press enter for 2 millimeters, then go path, stroke to path. So now I've got the two parts ready. I'm going to bring the C over, place it underneath, now I will just align them, and I'm going to zoom in. As I said before, the black you can see is going to be your cardstock. 
just going to click on the lattice only, is I can move the lattice around and I can get a different type of look. Now what I was trying to avoid, you can see here where the grey slightly overlaps the black. That's actually going to result in a very small cut. So in this example, I wouldn't actually use alignment. I would actually just move the lattice until I get the look I'm aiming for. See, I can see here I'm going to have a few small cuts. This might not make much sense at the moment, but when you're designing your own lattice, you'll understand what I mean. So I've only thrown this example in just to show you that some shapes don't use alignment, nominate the placement. So when you're happy with the look, select both parts, go path difference, then select the border of your design, align them both. I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to change the color of one to check they've overlapped properly, that I've got no gaps. Now they've aligned okay. So I'll select both parts go path union. So if you like to create lattice type designs for your cutter you might like to try this method. I hope this video was helpful and if you're looking for even more ideas feel free to visit my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com. Thank you.